it. Right now my husband is getting me Red Bull from the store because I wanted a Red Bull and we had none in the fridge. Love is so dumb, LMAO. Like, just tell me no. <laughs> All right, that's a good entry. Yeah. <laughs> welcome, everybody. Shit They Don't Tell You. Hello, welcome to Shit They Don't Tell You. I'm Nikki Limo Green. Um, and I'm Stephen Paul Green. And Limo. Yeah, and no, that's not true. Mr. Limo. And no, oh, would never do it. Goes would by never do it. To the people. Because people don't know who he is until he says that. That's amazing. Um. So, yeah, Nikki just led with a tweet that she let people know that i was getting her a red bull being a good husband and then she makes fun of me for it awesome yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. awesome That's awesome awesome awesome, awesome, awesome can't so, win nothing to do anyway speaking of tweeter um uh, i know you're going to talk about relationship questions yes. and we're going to like answer them and possibly like uh give some judgment make i don't the world know better move the no yeah make the world better um so i don't know why like in my feed on twitter I am not a, a good Twitter user or X, excuse me. Um, Thank you. So I only really started using it again in the past couple of years because the poker community is on there and they don't use other social medias because they're, I don't know, stuck in 2009. Yep. Um, but yeah, now that I use it, it it puts mostly accounts that I don't follow in my feed. Yeah. And for whatever reason, there's always like some person getting canceled for like, or like people are like, oh, she's cheating or she mm -hmm. does blah, blah, blah. And like a, most of the time it's about women, but sometimes it's about guys um, like can't trust guys or can't trust girls or whatever. So the, these are two that came up in my feed this week. And I want to know your thoughts Let's on go. them. I have thoughts on them, okay. but I would like to know your thoughts. Okay, this Love one, it. this is from a girl on TikTok, I guess. And shoot, I don't know her TikTok name because it's just become a meme, I guess. Got it. <laughs> like, I only see the screenshot. It's it was, reposted, It was reposted. like her video with all of the text over her face. Okay. okay. And apparently this girl, also disclaimer, this girl has been known to make stuff up on her TikTok before for Content. like rage bait, right? Content. But it actually, it created a discussion though. And that's, and it's, I'm more about like the discussion it created than whether or not the story is real. Okay. Because it sounds like something that could happen and um, there are people in the comments that are going back and forth. Okay. So this is a girl's face in the screenshot and the text over it says, my husband is making us fly home from our honeymoon after one day because he found out that I sent my ex a simple goodbye text on the morning of our wedding. It was goodbye text. It was a goodbye text, for goodness sake. Not an I will always love you text. Not a drop everything and meet me at the altar text. I needed to say goodbye to have closure on the unmarried part of my life. Please tell me my sensitive slash nostalgic girlies understand. Was so, it goodbye? Just goodbye? Yeah. So just a text that says goodbye. Goodbye. <clears throat> yeah. That's it? Yeah. Who gives a shit? Right. So the husband is making them fly home from their honeymoon after one day because he found out about that. That is banana motherfucking balls right what is the argument on the other side well i have tried to i try to go both ways right i like okay. to really yeah, like dig it. in deep new of year. like new year new year well yeah i mean i i because i i don't like snapping to judgment because people are complicated emotions are complicated and when we snap it's usually something that is like within us that we've developed as like a go-to snap reaction right because that's how we like hot takes operate, i'm all about right? the hot takes but like yeah sure so on the one hand I think if it were me and I found out you wrote goodbye to your ex on the morning of our wedding, I'd be like, why are you thinking about her on the morning of our wedding? Agreed. Like, Understood and agreed. Right. Like, why are you thinking about her on the morning of our wedding? Like, like you're never going to talk to her again now. And like, blah, blah, blah. When you should be thinking about me and how excited you are to like be marrying me. Like, I don't know. That would rub me the wrong way for sure. I would be like, rightfully annoyed and, and pissed about it like i and think also, it's something have i get you, pissed this... about for 45 minutes so i don't fly <laughs> right. home so like i'm just venting about yeah, like yeah, what yeah, i yeah. would think i would be like you know like what i have like how long like how much do you think about her how much do you think about this bitch that on the morning of our wedding you have to text her okay that's fair so like i would be like kind of upset about that for sure but to cancel a honeymoon like i can't imagine Never. flying all the way to, now maybe they went and honeymooned in like fucking la or tahoe or something like where it wasn't that far i don't know but like i can't imagine having a whole ass honeymoon that we spent tens of thousands of dollars on and this whole vacation plan with the new love of my life with the new chapter with the new like you know all that stuff such a disaster and then like something that could have been like exactly what you said a 45 minute fight like a 45 minute argument that's but that's but that's another thing is that i also feel like part of the 
problem with modern relationships is they don't develop communication problem solving problem solving conflict re resolution yes, yes before committing to a lifelong partnership like that's that is something that you need for the if you're going to spend the rest of your life with someone you better hope that you guys know how to fucking conflict resolution the like punishment does not fit the crime yeah, right? the guy's wilding out for no fucking and reason. And like, apparently, so, uh, I don't know. Some of them are saying that they're getting divorced too, or whatever. I don't know if that's. I don't know if any of this is real. But like, yeah, I'm just taking it at face value. Look, what is that's in, all we can? Yeah, know. what is in this text? Like, Look, we okay, know the people one, who we know people who would do this. The number one comment on this tweet is: If you feel you still need closure on your wedding day, you shouldn't be getting married. That's not really what that she that wanted is. the guy from her past to beg her to change her mind at the last minute. Congrats to the husband for being a real man. That that guy, whoever said that, is really a, a, a real piece of work. Yeah, see, I think these are all projections of like, yeah. oh yeah, that girl's gonna cheat on you for sure. I had a girlfriend that cheated on me. You know, That's it's the like most it's classic projection. Internet comment project, projection I've ever heard. I mean, people are like definitely wrong. There's absolutely no reason to text your ex on your wedding day. So like, agree. Yeah, well, it, I agree with that that sentiment. Yes, but the. Just the texting punish. goodbye. The punishment is yeah. not worth the crime. Right. It was if it was a goodbye couple of paragraphs or some shit right. like that, that would be whack. Or that'd be a whack attack. If this has been like a recurring thing, like I that keep too. catching you yeah, texting your ex. That too. Something like that. That would be big. That used to happen to me, dude. I had an ex girlfriend many, many years ago. Um four tubes or anything like that. And yeah, I would always see her looking at ex's pictures and shit like that. I'm like you're fucking weird, dude. That's so weird. And then she was doing that to me after we broke up. Yeah. You know? Of course. Yeah, of course. exactly. And like I mean, sending me emails and it's shit. It's like a grass is always greener thing. Yeah. And I never responded one time, one time, because I wanted to give her dude the respect that she never gave me. Well, that's good. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Don't do that to people. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I, uh, I think that one's pretty clear for me. Yeah. And okay. yeah, maybe 45 minute fight. And then, like, let's go to the fucking beach and chill out. Well, I would want to get to the root of it. Like, I would want to be, like, and that's, yeah. I think, why what? it's so important to have good communication. Like, what drove you to text it? Is it because you think about him? Is mm -hmm. it because you, I mean, like, she says it's a closure thing. Mm -hmm. But, like, how is it, have you, have you not have closure before your it's, wedding day? Well, it also could be a mic drop. We don't know. Like, you know what I mean? It could, right. It's like, kind of a semi. Boom, bitch, yeah, you know I'm what I mean? Like, on. fuck you. Bitch. I don't know. I think my I wedding po pictures posted everywhere is already a mic drop. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Agreed. I I have, I can think of zero reasons to text your ex, but um, do I think that I would, canceling the whole honeymoon is like in line? No. I think there's like a solid medium place in yeah, this I, argument. I think I'm going the medium too. Cause yeah. I'll send my ex like funny videos all the time. Shut up. Like funny articles. Hey, did you see <laughs> so this? Stupid. Like it was a funny tweet I saw. You're so stupid. I do that. I don't do like, it's not like a conversation. You know, I, I put life insurance on you for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so that was one. The other one is this. This is more of a video. Uh, and I don't know if you need to actually see the video. I'll just kind of... Um, so it's this girl, she's walking, she has a bathing suit on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. She's got a bathing suit on. Oh, and basically, I've seen this. you saw that, right? I've seen this. Do you speak English? Yes. Yeah. No, you're very sexy. What's your name? Oh, thanks. Taylor. Taylor, can I get your number? No, I'm married. Why? <laughs> Why? I just I did all that for no thing? <laughs> no. I'm sure. Okay. Look, look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, you're very attractive. Really? I know. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're very hot. Oh, I thought we could yeah. make beautiful babies together. We could. Maybe in wait, what's, life. wait, wait, wait. Do you have a boyfriend? I'm assuming? I have a husband. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh worse, okay. Right? No, no, no. Congrats. No, no, no worries. Do your thing. There are a lot I think of it's over. That are Shit. I'm serious. Are you from here? No, I'm from DC. I mean, yeah, originally I'm in Miami, but. Damn. I, I mean, like, this is going to sound strong, but you're sexy. Thank you. Take as a compliment. Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> very beautiful. I hope. I wish you the best of luck in your marriage. Oh, thanks. But um. Yeah, you're no. Listen, you're gonna. Where are you from originally? DC. No, so I was born here in Miami, and I moved. Well, I moved all over. Uh, but now I'm in DC. And the guy behind the camera is like, "Hey, what's up?" Basically, cat calling her. Yes. And then she's like, "I have a husband." Yes. And then she's being nice about it and like continues to engage in conversation. And people in the comments are like, 
well, the real night, but he feels really good watching this. Like she's engaging this dude who just called her really attractive in conversation. Like after, you know, saying she has a husband. Yeah. You know, it's cheeky bat. Yeah. Right. Mostly, I do think she could have got out of there sooner. I think so too. But I don't think it's like the worst thing. Be- only because like you never know. This guy could be weird, and he. That's could, exactly you it. Know what I mean, I think that there's some nuance being missed by some people because like. In the video, she's like, you're attractive and all this shit. It's like, I think that's too far. Okay. That's that's crossing the line for sure. Right. But it seemed like a letting him down easy kind of thing. Like, like I don't you're know. an attractive guy. You could get lots of girls. Like, why don't you fuck off? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I just like that. Yeah. To me, I was like, yeah, probably wouldn't have said that. Yeah, I know. Because one time we, I told a guy that <laughs> his eyes were pretty in front of you and you didn't like that. Even though his eyes when were like, that? it was in Vegas uh on our like bachelorette parties i think like when we were going to hard rock mm-hmm. i think it was there, was there was a pool party at hard rock that captain morgan was throwing and anyway the guy was a uh, dark dark complexion yeah. with like bright blue eyes yeah and i was like whoa you have really pretty eyes and you were I like you're like i don't like that well i would tell you that though <laughs> yeah yeah i would tell you that and i was like oh okay like, hey don't do that shit right cunt that's probably what i said <laughs> but i like it was just. It wasn't like, oh, I find you attractive. I want to bang you. It was more just like, whoa. No, I know. I get it. But yeah, really to me, pretty eyes. Well, to me, I know exactly where. Because I, I, I would say that to a girl too. Like I would. It's like not even a guy thing. Like it would totally. Wouldn't it wasn't a flirting thing in my eyes. I, I was swear just like, on whoa. my life, I don't remember this. But I will. Yeah. T- I will say. I think I can understand. Well, it stuck out to me because I never did a fucking again. I can understand where that guy's yeah. coming from, which is just like, don't disrespect me in front of like other people like that. Because to me, that's like it comes across a little like. Why are you saying that like while I'm right here kind of thing? Yeah, but because you it's innocuous like, and innocent. Yeah, and all that shit. Mm-hmm. But to me, I'm like, oh no, 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 don't do that. Because guys are fucking. When you know a man, you even can smile at him and shit like that. He'll take that the distance in his brain if mm. he likes you. You know what I mean? He'll take that the distance in, in, in his in his whole brain. I guess the fact that you are there made me feel safer about it. I, I totally you know, get like, it. but like I also just didn't. Like, I wouldn't have thought, like, I'm not picking up on this guy. Like, it's more, if a, if it was the same thing but a girl, I would say the exact same thing. I'd be like, whoa, you have really pretty eyes. Why don't you tell me I have pretty eyes? Well, you have a very average eyes. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. No. It wasn't even, like, I don't even know if pretty is the right thing, but it's, like, rare. Like, it's unique. Sure. You know? To yeah. have, like, a dark complexion and then blue eyes, like imagine a national I have a geographic. Whole, imagine I have a whole binder of my very favorite Pokemon cards. Uh-huh. And then we're at a we're we're out somewhere, and this not guy, my fault. You're a diglet. This I'm not a diglet. Don't say that. <laughs> Mark edit that up. Im, imagine we're out out of the place, and uh-huh. this guy has a shadowless edition one Charizard. Yeah. Hollow, and you're immediately like, holy yeah. fucking shit. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I'm right here with all my Pokemon cards, dude. <laughs> you shitting on me? No, I'm not shitting you know on I mean? you. That's I'm why just... I'm like, hey, I don't like that. Even though you're right. Even though he does have the shadowless Charizard, <laughs> even though those that dude probably had gorgeous eyes, unquestionably, <laughs> just you know what I mean, right? I got my binder here yeah. with my cards. So I understood that that okay. that upset you, That's and it. I was like, oh, I'll never do that again. Okay, I will think. Whoa, I'll, in my head. I'll think about it in my head. <laughs> think, whoa, I'll be very sneaky. Stunning <laughs> blue eyes. <laughs> Listen, I've always been in love with brown eyes. Your brown eyes. Heck yeah. Just one pair of brown eyes. Heck yeah. <laughs> Just Tim. one brown eyes. You heard that out there, haters. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Have I had, have I dated anyone with other people? Yeah. I guess I have. I didn't say I love you to them. Yeah, because he's a psycho, probably. I think, um, I think blue eyes one of my exes went by hazel eyes. I'm just being jealous. Sorry. I'm being a hater. Um, no, my brother has blue eyes. Kenny has, Does or like he? green. They're green or oh, something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like. Yeah. Do double take. You're like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. You know I, mean? I think you know what the other re- thing was is that my mom. So my mom has green eyes, and she's white. She's like blonde hair, green eyes, and she always talked about how she thought it would be cool if like we had my dad's complexion but her eyes, and it stuck in my head a lot. Like as a kid, I really wanted color colored contacts because That's like, cute. and then I I really noticed it because she pointed it out all the time when like. People had like light eyes but dark complexions. She just was like so unique and so stunning and beautiful. And so like it really stuck out to me that like those are rare beautiful, combos. Beautiful, pretty eyes. Those are combo yeah. like rare, rare combos. And I missed the boat. You know, like my I, my alleles picked the brown, picked the dominant gene. No question. And and like I could have had it all. I could have had it all if I just got her eye color with, with this complexion. 
but uh, didn't happen. Got didn't happen. Stuck and, with your brown. And she told me, and then she she'd like be like, oh, but I love brown eyes after all the time. But like she would talk about how pretty it is to have like blue eyes and like you know like Greek guys have like dark hair and light eyes sometimes. We got it, dude. But I'm just saying what my mom would say. I know. We know. We were groomed from a very early age to say that comment well, to that one guy. You don't even remember. I so don't. obviously just stick out. <laughs> <laughs> I really you know I genuinely point. don't. So that's like with the girl. I, yeah, I agree. She probably could have gotten out there out of there a little bit earlier, but we don't you know, we don't know like how creepy it was making her feel. There's yeah, also the a camera. Thing. Also, you don't want to be called a bitch. Like yeah. so like there's a camera recording you. And a lot of like so like a lot of these videos when the girl goes I have a boyfriend like right away the comments are all like what a bitch maybe he wasn't even asking you that or like you know they try to throw something else at you like they weren't gonna compliment you on your attractiveness or something like that like like what I wasn't even going there like you were assumed something yeah. like being like I have a husband and then like leaving like oh what a bitch you know so it's like it's weird like we're, we're damned if you do damned if you don't yeah look I just don't think she should have called him attractive that was a big faux pas okay. on her part and then the rest of it we can move on yeah yeah all right uh, so those are the two people that have came up with my feed that were like getting love it a lot of shit on love lot, it a lot of shit. I did see the second one um right. okay so this f first relationship advice question is about how my girlfriend, 23 female, made fun of me, 21 male, for my orgasm. <laughs> how can I get rid of the shame? Oh my gosh. So we had sex twice and what then started- kind of orgasm? <laughs> so we had sex twice and started joking around with each other in bed afterwards. Funny accents, intimidating, imitating each other, etc. For some background, during sex, I had a pretty intense orgasm <laughs> and couldn't easily move. And I also grunted. And I couldn't really control it. Then she laid in bed this morning making a weird face and she went stiff and started making weird noises too. I'm probably sensitive about this, but immediately I felt a wave of shame. Wait, what? She was like making fun of him in bed this morning. Okay, but how did he... I mean, the way he's explaining it... She made it, a weird face. It's like then he's, she went stiff. he's assuming that... She started making weird noises too. Wait, so they're doing impressions of each other yeah or that's what, what he said he said we're we're doing accents imitating each other etc oh okay yeah and then so she does like his o face or whatever mm -hmm. and then now he's like uh, i felt a wave of shame mm -hmm. i told her and she apologized and said it was just a joke and that it's hot when i do that and i totally forgave her <laughs> the problem is i can't get rid of the deep shame uh -huh. because <laughs> now i can only associate my most vulnerable moment with her imitation of me. <laughs> Has anyone ever dealt with anything like this before? Have you ever been embarrassed of your the way you come? This is his most vulnerable moment. How old is he? 24? He's 20. He's 21. Oh. She's 23. All right. Well, that makes sense. He couldn't move, babe. Yeah. It's scary as a man. We're, you have to remember that. We're the guys who protect you from the predators and stuff like that. Right. Imagine in a fleeting moment of pure pleasure. Well, play stupid games, get stupid prizes. Looks like you guys were imitating each other and she did a good job. And <laughs> like, and then the don't. wave of shame part. <laughs> the fact that they're sitting there laughing and giggling and shit and then she does the shit and he goes all quiet. <laughs> that kills me, dude. That cracks me the fuck up. Um, Like how bad... <laughs> How good is the impression? He let she let you nut in her like I don't like or maybe yeah. or on her or whatever. So it's not like she, it's not like she's so turned off that she's not gonna have sex with you. Like you know what I mean? Like it would be different if she broke up with him and was like, and by the way, you look like this and bad. <laughs> like that would be scarring. Yeah. But this is like, um, if she's making fun of you, it's like a an endearment thing. Yeah, I don't really. I mean, this guy, this is. Look, it's nice that he's opening up and stuff like that, but sometimes keep it to yourself. But like this one, I wouldn't probably share my with moment, people. My moment, my most vulnerable. My most vulnerable. I would keep all that to myself. I wouldn't say that to a single soul. Yeah. I would take it to the grave. I, even the deep shame part, just swallow it, bro. Take it to the fucking grave. It ain't worth it, dude. Even saying like, hey, I just want you to know. I can't. Hey, babe. Can I, we talk for a second? Sit down. I just want you to know that earlier when we were doing impressions and stuff like that, <laughs> when you took my very vul most vulnerable moment and you made it a, into a big joke for yourself. I just wanted to let you know that it, it, I was faced with a wall of shame afterward. And I just wanted you to know that. I, I Never say that. No, I, never, say ever that. say that. Ever. No. Just fucking, you know, 
swallow it. Because you know what? Later, when she's moved on to like her like more boyfriends after it, they're gonna she, laugh about this like, shit. She'll be like, "Oh, I had oh this God. one oh, boyfriend." So this guy, I gotta tell you, this guy <laughs> he got so upset with me. That's a legit it. <laughs> That's so true. Um, but like, like, I would more so examine what in your past made makes you feel shame. Like, it's usually something else. Like, this is the the triggering moment yeah. that makes you aware of it. But like, it's usually something that happened to you younger, like where you got humiliated by a woman or something. I don't know. <laughs> But like, it, yeah, this is the shit doesn't just come up like all willy nilly. Like you're all sensitive about that. Yeah, man. I. Uh, I mean, she's, unless like she's breaking up with you. Like that's the only other thing I can think of. But she's not. She's nah. just like, hey, this is the thing you do, and it's funny. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I'm with this guy. Yeah. It's gonna be tough to ride for this guy, dude. Yeah. He's 21. He's 21. Just a baby. Probably his first couple of experiences. Yeah. Never, never had an O like that before. We all been there, brother. I don't know. I just. We don't really date people that don't take the, that takes themselves seriously. That's a fact. So That's it's a hard, big one for me. It's hard me. to remember that that people do take themselves very seriously. Yeah. Because we don't we don't deal with those. No, people. we brush them off pretty quick. <laughs> like <laughs> we have a we have a friend that does take themselves. Oh really my serious. god! Do we ever? <laughs> but we. I would just. But let, I would say like after knowing us for a couple of years, he's eroded some of that a little bit because well, you got to bully it out of him you have to you, have you just to have to you have to and it doesn't mean we don't like you it's just no, like dude it's just, it's just like it gotta, takes work you gotta, you gotta tweak not take it. yourself that seriously no. man it's like having an old bike with a bicycle chain you gotta like grease all, that son of a bitch we all have different orgasms we all have funny faces dude limo's orgasm cracks me so, up it's uh, silly uh, it's so silly so silly <laughs> <laughs> is that why it's so very very yeah overpowering you want me to do yours no, no, I, I won't don't do it. it i won't do yours either i won't do yours we'll have a truce yeah a truce. Right, truce it's my most vulnerable moment yeah it's exactly okay um we're gonna take a break and when we come back we're gonna have more relationship advice to and move while the we're needle on a break why don't you check out patreon.com slash sticky s-t-i-k-k-i it's the best way to support the show you get it a day early from all the other listeners they gotta wait <laughs> it sucks for them but you get it early and then also uh steve does a crypto corner every week he answers all of your crypto questions he's helped a lot of people um make the first steps into crypto yes, sir. and all and the next steps and then the next steps and like whatever level you're at like he'll help you out there um also great discord community to go along with that and we do free roll poker tournaments Every month with Every cash month. prizes. Yes, sir. So it's basically free if you want a poker tournament, which anyone can. Fact. And it helps us keep Mark around. So there's that. So we'll be right back. BRB. Hey, we're on a break right now, and uh, I guess we're supposed to promo our show. Yeah, so we're going to talk about our we're show. We're going to talk about a show that you took a break from to like right. talk about how you should listen to our show. Technically, we're not on break. We're still working. It's culture they don't tell you, and it's all the shit that we wish people would have told us that we had to mess up on and figure out ourselves. Now we're telling you about it. That's it. And sometimes we answer questions that you send in, and sometimes we judge other people's situations so keep listening and uh check us out on patreon patreon.com slash sticky thank you and shout out to brian jorgensen all right here we go ready yes right back in act like i'm not mad at nikki right now here we go remember those guy that guy's eyes <laughs> <laughs> i will say that okay we're back uh-huh Okay, real quick though, I yeah. do. I am curious. What? Because you have a file cabinet memory and yeah. you remember everything. So after I, so the guy's eyes thing happened, uh -huh. right? I said I don't like that to you. It yeah. sounds like exactly like something I would say. Yeah. And then did I like let it go immediately? I flicked it off. Like I wasn't. Was I being cold after that, or what, did I flick it right off? Yeah. Well, I had to get it out of you. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you were cold first. Okay. Got and it. then I'm like, what's yeah. wrong? What happened? Like and then some... we had an opening because yeah. we were around a lot of people that day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and so then, then it, and it's like, I don't like that you said that about the guy's eyes. Yeah. 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 Okay. And, and then, then, it, but then, then I it was it gone. Yeah. Yeah. That's you just had to get it off your chest. Credit to me. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. But it was like, you always, I can sense tone shifts like immediately, like yeah. with you, even the most subtle ones. And so I'm just like, like, what happened? And then sometimes you don't even know until I ask you. And then you're like, oh, I'd say that's true. It was probably this moment. Yeah, I'd say that's true. Yeah, unless it really got me pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's at the forefront of everything, and I won't think of anything else. Yeah, but then you don't let it go that easily. That's very true. If yeah. it really got me. Yeah, if it really got you. Yeah. Okay. 
This next one comes from uh, come. <laughs> 22 year marriage with only sex four times in the what? last 17 years. Shut up. Wife 59, female, me 60, male. Oh. What would you do? Ooh. We were never like rabbits, but after our son's birth 17 years ago, including his conception, we've only had sex four times. The excuses for not having sex have varied slightly through the years. What I think it really boils, boils down to is that she has eczema and is very sensitive down there, and it causes her to have prolonged irritation afterwards. Oh. Then she has such low self-esteem, she doesn't want to be intimate. It's gotten to the point that if I don't initiate hugs, we can go months without even that basic intimacy. We don't even sleep in the same bed. I will always love her, being she, you know, being she gave me my child yeah. but I'm finding it increasingly difficult to accept being in a loveless marriage the extent of our intimacy is kisses goodbye or good night I'm at a loss and the attention of a co-worker recently ooh, has only exaggerated the problem I don't plan on cheating on her but I'm also torn about hurting the woman that I have supported for 22 years what would you do in this situation wife 59 male I'm 60 yeah that's a toughie because that's so important to me uh i think it's like really important to any relationship like a romantic relationship right like especially if you are a passionate person yeah buddy. like i don't know personally that's like a big like that's big that's huge like to not have that in your relationship for 17 oh that's a long time that's a that's a big buddy that's and a big buddy to if deal it's with. like if it's like on both of you i don't know i guess i understand now why people later in life open their marriages but like i and I couldn't be me, but like I can understand when it's situations like this get yeah, brought up yeah. where I'm like, oh, that's a toughie, like, you what's know? The point? Yeah, I know. It's like any, you want to, and like they're so ingrained in your life, like because it's you've been being married. Pot for, committed. You're, yeah. What, what, what are you doing? I don't like, know. What's it for now? Yeah. Like probably like many, many years ago. Well, you built a life together. Right. So now like you have a family. But it's a facade. It, but no, it's not a facade because the whole family part is real. It's just the like, the romance part is yeah, dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what's hard is like this part's all real. Like right. he probably loves hanging out with her. Or, like they like probably have you know they have a good family. They're like, the loving family part. Yeah. But then like the romance needs all I mean by intimacy that, needs. You're at the grocery met. store, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I like your ring. How long you been married? Twenty two years. Holy shit, twenty two years. How do you do it? Well, it sucks. You know what I mean? Like yeah, but this one part sucks. Yeah, this one part. But yeah, he says loveless marriage. I, he's talking about. Is I don't even get hugs unless intimate. I initiate. Them. Yeah, yeah. That's rough um, stuff. Well, he probably maybe he doesn't feel loved because of the love language thing. Like I don't know, but there's there's other examples of like where they feel love in every way except for this one. The need. extent of our intimacy is kisses goodbye or good night. Mm. No. Yeah, it's just become like a to initiate hugs. A like daily grind if yeah, he doesn't could, initiate hugs he can go months without even getting I could a just, hug i never i couldn't become a sexless creature yeah i know like that's just that's too sad it's very sad yeah yeah so this i think he should try probably try to fuck the co-worker <laughs> well thousand, i would 10%. have a conversation with my wife yeah i'd be like hey babe just so you know I'd be like, hey we so we you fucking. know we don't fuck we, we don't fuck fucking. we barely kiss we don't really hug even yeah. unless I initiate it. I don't even know if you want that. And you know what? I'm okay with it, babe. Because I love like, you. Because I love you. Best, yeah, yeah. And I love our Because lives. like she might be cool with it. Yeah. Because she already doesn't get it anyway. It doesn't seem to bother her. Right. Doesn't seem to bother her. Like, so girl, like I'm going to go to pound town next. I'm going to have a three day weekend coming up, baby. I don't know. Like I would ask. I would have a conversation with your wife first. Mm. But um, yeah. And then, if, and then you can move from there. If she's not cool with it, you're like, hey, I have fucking needs. And then like maybe yeah. we should. Maybe we shouldn't be together. Like he doesn't want to hurt her. I don't know. It's a tough one. I I couldn't I couldn't do it. Yeah, no, same. Couldn't that's do it. That's a roughy. Couldn't do it. That's a rough boy, yeah. right there. But uh, also, like you know, I haven't been married for twenty two years, and I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah. Like I'm trying to think if uh, if I if my sex drive somehow died, which I don't get how. But really like, um, like if it died though, like let's say it did, let's just say it did. It would it hurt me that you got it from somewhere else? Probably, kind of probably, but only because it's like I can't give it to you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I'd feel like, 
Like and I, if that happened, it was the like other I'm way. Not sad at, yeah. Like if, if my sex drive died, and I knew that you had to get it from other another place, murder suicide, triple homicide. But if you're not giving it to me, then what? And, uh, I, uh, you're mine. Well, you're fucked up. Murder, suicide, <laughs> triple homicide, suicide. You'd wear a Rampage. strap on for me. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> you have a fucked up brain, dude. Well, if you couldn't get it up for like that is you... wild, dude. That is a wild. That I'm is a wild to think of how visual. It still be you. Holy shit! It's not like I want it. You're forcing my hand. I understand what you're saying, but I gotta fuck the shit. mailman. You think I want to fuck the mailman? No, I, know I don't want to fuck the mailman. The mailman. He's but what, what I got? <laughs> He's got eyes. pretty eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Murder, suicide, triple homicide. Was the triple? I don't know. It's like oh, somebody you, else oh, has to go you, down. It's you. like I think someone else is going down too. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Mailman's like I'm just trying to deliver. Yeah, the mail. I think ah, you looked at her weird. <laughs> you have pretty eyes. Yeah, no. Uh, wow. Yeah. That I think you're just so far done that it's just so very very done. Yeah. You know. That's really tough. Sad one. We're gonna move on because how sad that. Well, was. because yeah, it's sad because if you think about it, like really think about it logistically, you're not getting this need met, but. The alternate is like you break up and then you leave this person that you've built a life with just hanging. Like the, right. like no more support, like no family, like right. you. You don't get to hang with like your best you, friend and, anymore. And it, like if you reduced it down to like, oh, you left, you broke apart this family because of your dick. Like, you know, like you need to get your dick wet. You know, and it just sounds so when like. people do that, it's reductive It sounds, though. exactly, that's, that's what I'm saying. Reductive. It's being reductive. Big word, 20, it's just, 10 points, It sounds points. selfish. Right. Agreed. But. This is such a big part of the relationship that it's it's very sad. It is very sad. I, I empathize truly with OP. I think this happens a lot. I know. Yeah. That's what it's so scary. It happens a lot. That's what's scary. I know. Because I think that, especially after you have kids, I think people just get into a different routine. Right. They're so withered and, and yeah. like burdened and like right. uh, and exhausted. And like just exhausted. How do you take four kids to goddamn soccer practice and takes the wind out of feed you. everybody at night and then oh you're supposed to do sexy times. Yeah. No that's, that's a roughie. I can't I couldn't imagine like doing it with all with having all the kids in the house but okay 17 years now the kids almost out of the house like and you know you ain't you don't want to have sex. You, 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 you ain't gonna get my dick wet? Gonna get his dick wet. Maybe they do the wrist thing. I could teach them about the wrist thing that I do with no. you. No. Don't teach anyone that. What What do you mean? Don't teach anyone that. Don't teach people that? Our parents listen to this show. I, I just said the wrist thing. That's, that's pretty innocuous. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Limo loves the wrist thing. No, just I so don't. you guys know. That's garbage I think person. It's ridiculous. Garbage person I'm it's with. It's ridiculous. Garbage person I'm with. Okay. First of all, it's not even me doing it. It's technically it's you. It's a different version of me. <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, stupid. All right, you idiot. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. This one, right, right, right away. My, I'm a 27. I'm a 27 male fiance. 24 female started acting weird after I told her why I didn't want to have sex with her. What do I do? Hmm. My fiance and I have been together for five years. We're getting married at the end of September this year. Good season for weddings. Smart. Mm. We have never had sex in in this time because I've told her I don't want to yet. She, okay. A couple weeks ago, she drank too much. Started getting a little horny. Okay. Wanted to initiate intimacy, but I told her no. She insisted and even put her hand down my pants. I just left her room and slept on the couch. The next day, she looked pretty embarrassed and defeated. But asked me why I didn't want to have sex with her and I told her the truth and that's that when I was little I was abused and that shit really traumatized me. I had never mentioned this. I always tried to avoid the subject. She understood and told me that it would be good to go to therapy. But after that she's been acting distant towards me. She doesn't kiss me. She doesn't hug me. She doesn't even want to cuddle with me anymore. She literally prefers to sleep on the edge of the bed so our bodies don't touch. Why is she acting this way? Is it awkward? I'm really worried she took this the wrong way because we're getting married soon. Brother. She's getting cold feet. Brother, you got to get this sorted out yeah. in your brain. Because she's looking at she's like, a long road ahead right. to drive a pawn. Right? And she's taking this on. It's like she's like coming into to debt with somebody. Yeah. Right? Like, hey, I'm coming in. Got a, got a little significant debt I should have mentioned. Also, it's concerning that 
so she she's 24 they've been in for five years so from 19 to 24 like your what is it prefrontal cortex lobe or whatever isn't formed Not fully yet developed, yep. yeah and so like making the decision to spend forever with someone that's why a lot of these like early wedding like early marriages they end in divorce i think it's 78 percent of marriages that if you're if you get married in your early 20s are going to end in divorce because like you're not one you can't make decisions very like as well as you would later in life for the rest of your life yes yes you know for your all of your future self and two like you become a diff you become different people like you de you're still developing so like both of you could splinter off in different ways so that's one thing that's already concerning right off the Agreed. bat and i think she's starting to realize like oh shit i agreed to this thing and like what am I forever in for? is a long what time. What am I in for? Yeah. Also too, right, some people on the, uh, one of the replies was, I think made a good point where maybe she just doesn't want to trigger him now because like intimacy, it's like I put my hand on your pants and you freak the absolute fuck out. Yeah. Like maybe We're supposed every, to be safe and trusting every, every time of touching could be triggering for you because yeah. now I know about your trauma thing. So, and by the way, we are not writing that off in any way. No. That is serious shit. But she's right but about she's, the therapy thing. She's, right. So now you, she's going to be onboarding this into her life. She's basically like, I'm not a professional. I would need to wait to hear what the professionals say. Right. Right. Because I don't want to accidentally trigger something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame her for being cold and distant about it because it's such a heavy, it's just a heavy thing. Yeah. It's all heavy for everybody. And it's not like she doesn't love you anymore. It's just that like, that's like a, like, I don't know if I went if I knew I was spending forever with someone and then we, I go to like initiate an intimate act and it's yeah. like scares them. It's like, are we never gonna? That's what I'm saying. And, are we never gonna have sex? Not, like, again, not not to like, yeah. No, not to be reductive about or, this too. But like, a quick example, right? Like, I don't. I'm not gonna buy something at Costco unless I sampled it. Right, like <laughs> yeah, I, I just have to sample it, like because I I think their food can be hit and miss. So if I try something and they actually hand it to me a little toothpick or something, I'm like, okay, that's what I'm gonna I'm actually gonna commit to that. I'm bringing it home, mm -hmm. right? I think that that's how I feel about sex stuff, especially like when there's legal contracts involved. The like, skis. It's, it's, it's like you're entering a lifelong contract. With yeah, and you know you're nothing in. else in the world like can you sign a lifelong contract for that's like illegal. It's like indentured servitude or whatever. Um, you become a family unit. But yeah, like this is a lifelong contract. It's expensive to get out of. And there's a lot of emotions involved. Stop saying it over and over again. I, I get what it's I'm a into. Lifelong I get contract. what I got into. I get it. Handcuffed. Jesus. I could take you for everything you're worth. I know. It's expensive to get I out of. I know. Wrist and, thing's pretty cool though. And it's been a week since we've been intimate. And I'm kind of, <laughs> my lawyers are counting. <laughs> I didn't expect to have this fucking cold, okay? <coughs> it's fine. I'll get you back. <coughs> I'm sick. <coughs> <laughs> That's My incredible. dick don't work. <laughs> That's so incredible. <laughs> That's not the problem. No. Uh, Not to rub it in, but... Yeah, there's been no rubbing. Good point. Good pun. <laughs> okay, this next one, keeping in the theme. Husband, 29 male, asked me, 28 female, for an open marriage. Any advice? Wait, so how, you know, how old? How you ask and you are given. How old? 29 male, right? Yeah. And she's 28. Okay. We, My husband wants an open marriage. We've I been, didn't ask. We've been to... No, I'm... I know. <laughs> Earlier, yeah. Yes. I said I understand. Yes. Yeah. Sheesh, Lima. Okay. Sheesh. We've been together for 12 years, married That's for six. That's a long time. I Ooh, have... 12 years with someone? Uh... <laughs> That's us next year. No way. Don't say that because it makes it sound like it's really hard. Uh, <laughs> if they get a cold, their dick breaks. <laughs> <coughs> That's so fucking stupid. You're such an idiot. <clears throat> I love it. Okay. Married for six. Have two children together. This is pretty much us. Yeah. Basically. But no kids. Uh, have, You're married for seven. Mm. Oh, I know. So have two children together working for a third. I, 28 female, and am openly bisexual. Huh? Okay. And he, 29 male, has recently been asking me questions about exploring my sexuality. Oh, God. This guy's awesome. Jesus. But use that as a preface to ask if we can explore open marriage class. I'm not sure how to feel. Yikes. On two separate occasions throughout our relationship, I've found dating apps and profiles on his phone. Oh, no. As well as seen him exchange pictures with someone over text and Snapchat. No. This has been a huge hurdle in our relationship. 
And now that he's asking to be open, I don't know what to think or feel. You don't? Holy shit, dude. I know exactly what I'd think and feel. What did you think and feel? Anger, rage. Oh, fuck. I'd be like, oh, you want to fuck another girl and you're going to, you've found my sexuality as a way to finagle this into being like about me Should instead of about you. It's piece not about of, me, babe. Piece of shit. You're openly bisexual, and we're not uh-huh. even allowed to explore that side. And I just think I don't want to stand. That's in the fucked way. up. Yeah, you should be able to explore you should be able that to explore side. And like maybe you know what I would do? I'd be like, oh, thanks, Bait, and I'd go fuck a girl without him. Oh damn, dude. Yeah, and I'd, I'd be like, yeah, you're right. Thank you so much for the permission. I'd fuck a girl without him. That's cold blooded ass limo. And he'd be dude. like, could I fuck a girl without you? I'm like, no, because I don't want that. <laughs> but you wanted me to explore it so if it's about me and not you you know that's why i like, told the jk boys i was like it's, it won't even be worth leaving limo because she will she knows how to push my buttons and she this bitch <laughs> this bitch would just ruin me from afar she'd ruin me she'd say you took you took the best thing you ever got and all this shit and no you know you know exactly how i i know how exactly I how you do it is that i would pretend you never existed yeah you've never no, but the first thing you'd do is you'd tell me about how much you love me, and that's the worst part. Yeah. You'd make sure I knew how much I'd remind you of deeply. every deep, yep. loving moment we've yep. ever spent together, yep, yep, yep. and then I'd erase you from my life and memory. Such a wild bitch, this would I tell you. I got really into it, real <laughs> thick. The quicksand is thick around my feet. I really, I don't even know a Steve. <laughs> Never met Steve, Steve Jobs? Before. Yeah. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. <laughs> Just like the other Steves I know. <laughs> So great, uh, yeah. I mean, what do you, would you do? What's this one? What's this one about? Lino? This is a guy we, that wants to. Do? This guy is fantasizing about a, another woman. I think this guy just kind of sucks. Absolutely, I'd be. Oh my god! And especially the fact that they said they're trying for another kid. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They, in the she's midst. The, yes. In the midst, yeah, yeah, who yeah. knows what that means? Hey, she's pregnant. So, I'm gonna get preggies, and then so he's like, he wants oh, to cool. knock Can her I up, like, and then be like, fucking? "Oh, since you can't fuck now, yeah, like maybe we should have this girl come in, and like you could do stuff too. You could diddle yourself all. Yeah, you could like <laughs> mm, work it in the corner. No, I don't like. Sucks. I don't like it at all. This guy sucks. Dot com. Dating profiles on your dating things on your. Oh no. Mm-mm. Fuck that noise. No. Unless. Unless what? Just to defend my history. <laughs> you had to have a dating. For a bit. You had to have it. No. For a bit. You had to have a dating profile because you were. You had to write a movie about dating. Uh-huh. So I had to have a fake dating profile, which I which I do have. Uh-huh. Do you remember this? Do you remember this? So I have five suitcases in the house. No, 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 no. So me and Gallagher oh, were writing a movie about dating, and we we got it we got it bought, but then basically we had to go write the movie. And I'll make a, you keep Joe. It was off a pitch. I'll keep all the other cats. So then I had to get a dating profile. You keep Joe. Yeah. I this get is all a the true story. Cats. I'm not lying. Um, so I actually there is a dating profile out there of me, but it is so obviously a fake dating profile because uh, it is, it's a picture of you and me. <laughs> Because I had to just know like the yeah. app and like how the the, the, the what, yeah you the, told me about it. It was like if you're not I'm I'm married. Or that's cool with you or whatever. Yeah, I was like, hey, look, that. look. I was like, look, I'm a married man, and like this is my wife right here. And if you're not cool with that, well, you can go fuck yourself in all caps. But like a lot caps. of people are cool with that. And yeah, so, but that yeah. was so but like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's such a a shot that yeah. it's like, man, this guy's probably kind of crazy. I think. Yeah. So yeah, that one's out there. But um, that was just so I could you know yeah. It's like I get it. What do they call it? Do they call it a DM? Do they call it a message? Whatever, you know all that yeah, shit. You're but, yeah, you're really boomery about anyway, everything. Yeah, I'm boomery. So you're I, still not, like, I had to know the syntax. Yeah, it's Any funny home. that you had a whole dating profile and you still don't know the syntax for most sites. That's so I don't weird. remember it because it was like fucking seven years ago. Uh huh. Six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think it's still out there somewhere. Yeah, I hate this guy. He has guy sucks. dot com. dot org. dot gov. You think? I hate that he thinks he's clever and. Like that, he's like, oh no, it's about oh, no. you, babe. babe like babe, you're so bi, you. babe. You're so bi. Remember how bi you're so you bi? And look how accepting I am of it. <laughs> <laughs> I even made myself a, a dating profile. <laughs> do you think he's a Leo? No. What do you think he is? Sagittarius. Sag? He's Sag. Yeah, fucking Sagittarius. Yeah, Sag. They would. Yeah. It, it, is it mostly the guys or the girls too? Uh, no. For Sages. No guys. 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 Well, maybe girls too, but. Tell us, tell us about all know. the Sages. What are they like? I don't know. I didn't never dated a Sag because okay. like, uh, <laughs> right? Uh, uh. <laughs> but like, they're the more like party boys. Okay. You know. Got it. Like, not really commitment types. Yeah. But like, that's 
obviously a generalization. Like that's like a, some of the telltale signs. Like I guessed fucking Johnny Football's sign. Johnny Manziel. Be, because of that. Yeah. Yeah. Sag behavior. Texas Longhorn fucking, I think, Texas something. Yeah, we watch, watch that documentary. Well. We watch the documentary. So whenever yeah. we do reality shows or like we watch like, yeah, we'll watch like Love Island or whatever. Like I guess they're star signs and I'm pretty good at it. We watch that and documentary. And he's a Sag? Yeah. How do you remember this shit? We watched the documentary because like I, cause six I'm like, months ago. Because I'm like, such sad behavior. So then he went to the Browns. He sucked ass. And he basically told everybody, like, I was fucked I off. I hope I'm right. Because I thought I, I remember watching him being like, he's got to be a Sagittarius. And then I... Th- I remember you saying that. And we looked I it up after. I think I, I was right. I think I was right. I love it. Okay. Um, I didn't... I'm yeah, not going to relook it up. You're getting a little window into our lives where we watch reality TV. And then Nikki guesses the star signs of people. And then mm-hmm. we see if she's right or wrong. Yeah. And I'm like pretty good at it. She's pretty good at it. But when she's not, she just uses the excuse that there's something else rising. rising yeah. <laughs> the best it's the fucking but best. like most of the time i'd say i'm like a seven out of ten no i know but it's no different than like yeah when we're looking for the car or something like that mm-hmm. we parked in a goddamn huge parking garage i I'm always like, know the car it's this way no but i'm like it's this way i fucking know it is and you're like no it's this way no you're and, always and wrong you're, yeah but you're like he's so sure why is he so sure that's how you are with the fucking with the star yeah, but, sign shit but you have no right to be sure about things you're always wrong i get it but you have no right you're talking about directions like stuff. you're so you're, adamant you're absolutely right about that. yeah exactly so like I, I don't right know you have that. no history of being right but that's you're true. so adamant about it that's and true. that's why i'm like you have no right but like for if me I, i'm if, pretty good at if it if we're at a fork in the road and it's like turn right or left i will always pick the wrong direction always wrong every single every time. time and then it's like, like a magic and trick. It, i remember our first date i was like i think we're going the wrong way you're like no yep like immediately without even checking like it's just immediately no we by the <laughs> way we i i picked you up in Hollywood. Yeah, and you're trying to go to Burbank. I was trying to go to Burbank and I and went And you went south. downtown. I went south. We were headed brother. towards downtown. Yeah, it was rough. It was and a rough one. I was like, one. where are we going? Are we, I said, are we going downtown? You're like, no. I'm like, mm, well, the fuck we aren't. <laughs> like the rough start. F- yeah, but anyway. Was nervous as hell. So like you have no track record to be right, yet you're still so adamant and will argue with me yeah. about being right. And it's so that day. makes no Listen, sense. Listen, you know what gives me hope? Every day I wake up, it's yeah. a new day. Every day when that sun comes up, Maybe my direction shit gets but fixed. But see, if you had a good track record of like mostly being right, yeah. then I'd be like, huh, maybe he's right. Fair, fair, fair. Right, fair. and so that's like, I have a pretty good track record. So I, f- I feel like justified in I my adamancy I understand. of being correct right. in some capacity. But guess what, Limo? What, Grady? It is, it is only 5 o'clock p.m. right now in Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. Tomorrow when I wake up. Yeah. It's a brand new fucking day. Uh-huh. And guess what? I Maybe I'll know where to turn. You won't. Where to go. You won't. How to get there. You don't even know, like, when we lived in LA for 15 years, you, like, wouldn't be able to get to, let's say, Century City without maybe a different... <laughs> you wouldn't be able to get <laughs> That's to... That's a big one. Hang on. <laughs> Dial it in a little bit. I mean, like, you don't know how to get places. Like, we've lived in Vegas now for three years, and you still probably need a GPS to go to the Strip or something, or, like... Yeah. Yeah, so like, yeah. I, I I don't know how to help you. That's just something that you can't, you're just not built with that specialty and that's okay because you married someone who is, baby. God didn't touch me there is what I say. Yeah, he touched you in another place. He did. Which we can't use right now because you got a cold. <laughs> <laughs> so what good is that gift? We can maybe use it. Got to run the show here. I told you I felt better today. Got to tell you where all the directions <laughs> are and and what do I get? I don't nothing's get, hotter, I don't get by the way, dick. Nothing's hotter, ladies and gentlemen, nothing hotter in the whole world than when you're over your woman, right? When you're over her? You're over your woman and you suddenly cough in her face and sometimes Ew. you just want to preventively avoid, exactly, you preventively avoid situations like that by taking yourself out. Sometimes you got to, you got to bench yourself. Yeah. Right? I mean, I, I agree. For the tea. I agree with that. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't mean I'm not sexually frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all the time we have for today. We love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Okay. We love you. Bye. See you next week. Bye.